again, it was another lunch break purchase, so I went out for one thing and ended up spending a lot more than I was planning on spending. Um, but can I say, I'm filming quite late at night, so it's very dark outside, so if the lighting's funny, that might be why I'm not quite sure how good these lights are going to be with it being this dark. It's very dark. So I picked up six things when I popped into Lush the other day, so I thought I would share them with you. I've got a mix of some old Halloween ones, some new Christmas ones, and just some staples that they do as well. One of them I've already used, and I'll add in a clip of that when I get to it. Uh, yeah, so I'll just start. The first thing I pull out is um, the Roots Hair Treatment. Um, I've used this before and absolutely loved it. It's for um, fine and thin hair. I picked up the 225 grams pot, which is £10.25, which, okay, for what you get is quite a lot of money, but I really, really like this. Um, I'll read it to you. It says, top tip, with three kinds of mint, stimulate the scalp and hair follicles, olive oil to give condition and strength, honey to soften and soothe, and nettle absolute for shine. We've topped this off with the delicate perfume containing sweet orange oil, new roly and grapefruit oil, all known to be cheerful and uplifting. Um, I use this because I have thin hair. Um, when I used this last time, I did see a difference. However, I wasn't really, I didn't really stick to it. I kind of used it on and off. Um, but the results that I got, I quite liked. So I'm going to be strict with myself on this. I'm going to use it every week and see if it makes any more of a difference. The smell, though, is supposed to be sweet orange um, and grapefruit. However, yeah, it's just like a white cream. When I put it on, it makes me feel like I've got toothpaste on my head. Um, it kind of clears the nasal cavities, does the smell of this. It's really strong. But if you can get past the smell, I really, really like this stuff. So yeah, just something I purchased before that I wanted to try again. Roots Hair Treatment Mask. I use this, um, when I do use it, I put it in when I'm having a bath and then I leave it in overnight so I just put it like on a weird little top put it on my head and leave it overnight and then wash my hair in the morning I find that gives me the best result it leaves it feeling really soft and really lightweight kind of lifts it a little bit I really I just really, really like the, the results that this gives me the first bath bomb I picked up was Lord of Misrule I don't know why I'm showing you that yeah. I wanted to kind of get the proper descriptions of them from the website, but this one isn't on the website, so I don't know if it's just really new or they've sold it on the website, I don't know. Um, but it's this really, really pretty green colour with a star in it. I think this is one of their Christmas ones. And there's also a crack in it, and you can kind of see... Oh no, it's crumbling all over me! You can see it's kind of pink inside, and it says on the thing, it says with a wine coloured centre so I'm guessing my bath will go a wine colour which I'm happy with, I like that colour the smell of it is very, it's very fresh clean smell I can't tell you what it actually is, I can't remember what the lady in the shop said and it's not on the website but if you like really soft gentle scents then this is one for you because I sometimes find that lush scents are very very strong and a bit overwhelming but this one is a very gentle easy scent I was going to say, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but I'm going to find this one really relaxing, I can just tell, I know. There's also a lot of little like little specks in it as well, pink and yellow specks. Ooh. It's so exciting when you use a new Lush bath bomb, you don't know what it's going to do. Such as me that gets a little bit excited about that. Probably. But that was Lord of the Moon. I'm going in the order of my receipts, the next one is the one that I've already used, so I'll pop a clip in of that right now. is going to go everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a really fresh smell. It's a lime scent. And you all know how to do bubble bars. You basically break it up and then rub it under like a running tap into your bath and you get loads of bubbles. Um, I'm probably going to like break this and have like two baths from it because it's pretty big. And your bath like this kind of green colour. Like a really aqua green. Is it aqua? Aqua's green, right? It's not just blue. Yeah. 
aqua green. I mean, you get lots and lots of bubbles. But I just think this is so cute with the little holly on it. I love it, and I can't get enough of their glitter bath, like bubble bars and bath bombs. Glitter is literally going everywhere. It's all I can see in like my professional vision is glitter flying everywhere, and it's all over my fingers. So it's just rub that there now shall we I'm so excited to use this one again quite a nice subtle smell not too strong very fresh with the lime oh, I just love them so that is Holly Go Lightly next is the Christmas Penguin this is literally my all time favourite come on come on open the battery is flashing we're on a time scale here these are so cute the Penguin scent is um, like an orangey citrusy scent which I think is why I like it so much. Again, another really fresh smell. I seem to have gone for all of the fresh scents recently. Um, apart from actually the one I've already used, the it's called Granny Takes a Dip. That's a really sweet smell. But this one, again, another really fresh, gentle smell. I really love like orangey scents and fresh smells. I just, they're my favorite. I find them the most calming. And oh, I just love this penguin. I think he is my favorite bubble bar of all time ever. And it's not just because I love penguins. Okay, maybe that plays a little part in it, but he's just really sweet. Oh, look at his little nose. Right, is his nose actual like, what is his nose made of? I always think it's maybe like a sweet or something. I'm not gonna try and eat it though. So yeah, that's the Christmas penguin. <laughs> Um, he turns your bath like a really nice, like a proper blue bath is how I put it. Like, you know when you see pictures of really luxurious baths and their water is like the perfect colour blue? That's the kind of colour he will turn your water. <laughs> and then last but not, not least is one of the Halloween ones. It's this sparkly pumpkin. I couldn't resist it. He's orange. He has glitter on him. I couldn't not get him. Mm. It's just so nice. Again, he's not on the website, so I can't tell you what it's actually meant to smell of. Oh, but it smells so good. Again, another fresh, gentle smell. <laughs> I'm literally, that's all I go to. I'm really attracted to them. I pick them up, I'm like, yep, that one. He's just really sweet, and I couldn't resist the glitter, and he's orange, and he's a pumpkin, and yeah. Now I've got gold glitter in them everywhere, rather than silver glitter. I'm so rubbish at trying to work out what things smell like, so I can't even like try and explain it to you. Just go into Lush, okay, and go and smell them all. Just smell everything. Oh, I've got glitter on my nose. Guessing he's going to turn my bath orange as well. I'm really hoping he'll turn my bath orange. And that is... Can you see all the glitter on my fingers? <laughs> and that is everything that I brought from Lush while I was... spending money I shouldn't have been spending. <laughs> I can't resist it. I go in thinking, right, I'm just going to get one thing. Yeah, it never happens. Who <laughs> else has the same problem as me with that? I bet you are all putting your hands up right now. I really want to try some new ones as well. I'm not, I'm, a bit, I'm not very adventurous with things with blush. I kind of go back to what I know. So if there's things that you really like, let me know because I will definitely go and try them out. As always, my social media links will be down below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The sleeve of the queen.